as we're back up at the start line, pulling up to the starting boats, we have the matchup of the 3V, Princeton versus Navy. As Princeton again in the outside lane and Navy in three. Sun is just starting to break through here as we have some temperatures warming to about 48 degrees. Wind sitting around five miles per hour northwest. Beautiful racing conditions out here today on Carnegie Lake. Quick shout out and thank you to the PURA, Princeton University Rowing Association, for allowing this all to happen. And to the parents. Without their support, none of us would be here. As it looks like both boats are sitting ready at the catch for the start. The flag is up. And it is down. The boys are off in this 3v matchup. And it looks like we have some sort of delayed start for Navy. And it looks like they will be pulling the crews back. Navy with some problems on the start. They've stalled the race. And it looks like we'll back into the state boats again for another start. Put us behind racing by a few minutes, but not a problem. As we'll get a little closer to the action, try and figure out what happened. Might have been a false start by one of the crews. In which case, a penalty marker will be awarded. And in another false start, that crew... will be disqualified. But a pretty rare occurrence here. As they're backing both crews back into the stake boats now. It's always a bit frustrating to have a false start. You got all the nerves tensed up at the catch waiting for the start of the race. And so much of it is released in that first couple of strokes. Having to reset can be fairly annoying. But it's all part of racing. Yeah, and based on that on that start sequence, Princeton looked to have a pretty explosive start there with this 4v and 3v group you know these two boats have been very competitive um and both of these crews have shown that they can really get off the start line as they're setting both crews up again Both crews sitting at the catch, <coughs> awaiting the start. The flag is up again. And it appears to be a clean start. 
as the 3v race for the men's heavyweight is underway. As before, Princeton looking very clean with a powerful start. Again, similar to the 4 and 5v with that nice length up at the catch following through the finish. Once again with stroke seat Ryan Hutsley coming from Lincroft, New Jersey, Christian Brothers Academy. Princeton was a three three seat lead here, and I just want to note this Navy boat just some massive individuals in here. Um, so you can see there's a lot of power, but Princeton holding on to this early lead. Nick Foster out of six seat, the internationally acclaimed kazoo player, really tossing it along here. Wow, and Princeton up to about six seats. Some really good power out of this boat, especially from a really strong group of Navy rowers in their 3D. As we said, the depth is profound in both these crews. As it is sure to make for some tight racing throughout all races. But Princeton out in front in this first 500 meters down. Yeah, Ryan Hutsley setting a really good rhythm here from straight seat. Looks like they have a bit more pop than this Navy boat. Yeah, I'm really getting that good top quarter compression jump. Navy, similar to their other boats, nice rigid upper body. Not much body angle. Lot of compression in the top end, and powering through at the legs to the drive. And Princeton, with about a length and two seats, building the three, opening the four seats, as they're surging through, coming into about 50 strokes until this halfway mark. Yeah, Navy's staying tough here. You know, they haven't let the lead get too big after, you know, getting down about a length early on in this race. We'll see if they can, you know, close this gap. But this Princeton boat's looking really explosive as we cross the 1,000 meter mark. So at the 1,000 meter mark, we have Princeton by about half a length of open water over the Navy 3V. Both boats still looking strong, sitting at a nice base pace. Navy, looking at around 34, 35 strokes per minute. Princeton about a beat or two under that. And Princeton's really surging here. Yeah, opening up that, that lead to about a length of open water now, maybe more. Both crews looking very technically fit. These Princeton guys really getting after it, going for that front end drive. Really getting gritty with those catches and maintaining the length throughout the stroke. Doesn't look like they're sitting after some emphasis on not sitting for all these Princeton crews. You know, you've seen a, an effort to just really open up these leads, at least with the 4V and 3V boats. Yeah, these Princeton crews like to ask themselves, why are they sitting? And there's never a good answer for that, except to stop sitting. As we move into the last 500 meters of the race, Princeton, by about two and a half lengths of open water, really looking impressive from this 3V. Stroke man Ryan Hutsley powering them through. Sending it all the way through the bow pair of Ralph Ellsgood and Seth Ben's Creek. Two 
continuing to open up their lead. As Princeton enters the last 250 meters of this race with a substantial lead over the Navy 3V. Right, you're going to see, you know, these Princeton guys in the power seats, Henry Evans, Matt Doyle, just getting after it. They refuse to sit on this Navy crew. And just really surging through as we get into the last 200 meters. And both crews into their sprint now, high stroke ratings. But it does not look like Navy will be able to close much of this gap as Princeton continues to surge into the last 10 strokes of this race. This boat refuses to sit, and they're just, you know, this has been a very good race for them. Very impressive, very impressive from Princeton. They came through the line now. As Navy finishing the last five strokes of their race, Similar margins to the 4V race as they finish now, about 15 seconds behind Princeton. Tell you guys to cover the mics from the window. 